With the recent events surrounding the resignation of the GFA's technical director Trevor McIntosh, many questions were raised about the reasons why this happened. The GFA issued a press release claiming that the former technical director received a poor performance evaluation and was given three months to improve on his delivery of the programs. Earlier today, the GBN Sports Desk visited the former technical director, who explained what happened. He said the evaluation given was very unfair. On the Friday, sorry, on the Thursday, four days before the launch of one of the probably one of the biggest things that's happened for youth for, for youth football in Grenada um, through the schools, I was presented with an evaluation report that was done on me. And um, when I read the report and I looked at the marks that was given in that report, I thought it was rather disrespectful. So upon that upon that time I decided to hand in my resignation. It was very unfair because for someone who's come here to help to develop football that never had a department to run and never had the support from the various from, from the executives. McIntosh further went on to say that although the GFA stated that he didn't fulfill the demands of the position, he believes that he did a great job with the resources he had. The only grassroots programs that are run are by various ac academies around the island. So all I had to do, because of lack of resources and the lack of respect from certain members of the executives, I then went around the island assisting a lot of these academies with balls and bibs because that's all we had. We didn't have anything else. All I was told that my only accomplishment was sending a young lady to Slovenia, which I think is a very good achievement because that young lady was the first in the Caribbean to be get given a six weeks trial at a woman's club in Slovenia, which takes part in the equivalent to the Champion League for men. The former technical director presented the evaluation given by the GFE. On my evaluation report, there are certain things that were mentioned on there, like, like provides guidance and assistance to coaches and develops appropriate policy procedures, training activities, ob and objectives for the guidance and assistance of coaches. You know, the only coach that came to me for advice, and it's nothing to do with the other coaches because they've got their own way of how they want their teams to develop. But the Paradise coach, Jake Rennie, came to me because he said he has a very young team for this season. And he came to me for me to write him a program every month. And what happened this season? Paradise FC went through the entire season without losing a game. It says here, teamwork. Actively participate as a team member to work towards completion of goals. The TD is not proactive nor very active in demonstrating teamwork. When our under 15s were going to Orlando last year, I was sitting in the airport at five o'clock in the morning filling out visa forms for these girls to travel. How could that not be teamwork? And at seven o'clock, receives a phone call from the general secretary telling me that the staff, the technical staff that are going to Orlando are not up to it. That's what he said. They are not up to it, technically. What did the girls do when they got out to Orlando? They drew their first game, they lost the second, they, they won their last game, and in every game that they played, they scored, which we didn't do in our under-17. So that's progress. Jesse Lalit, GBN Sports.